Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh Kumar and I'm your DevOps SRE DevSecOps coach. Okay, so what is shell scripting or sometimes we call it a bash scripting also. So simple, I would say, uh, you do you know Linux commands? If yes, then put it up those commands in a certain files and run it. Simple. You can call it a batch. So that's called shell scripting. So shell scripting is nothing but a commands, collections of commands which you have, which you know or which you know based upon the requirements again in future. You are going to put it up. Then you will say, I mean, okay, so then why do we call it a scripting actually? So we call it scripting because uh, in order to become a scripting, you need to have uh, some fundamental features. And what are the features? So the features are any scripting can be scripting if you have certain features like variables. Can you declare the variables in this shell scripting? Answer is yes, you can do that. Second feature, you have a control statement like if else and all kind of things, right? So do you have a control statement uh, with uh, shell scripting? Yes. You have it. Third thing is, can we iterate it? Loop. We call it loop. Yes, we can do that. And the fourth thing is, can we create a function? Because we don't want to, uh, we want to one thing but 100 times. So we don't want to write 100 times those codes. We want to run one, we want to run, write one code and then run it 100 times. Can we write a function, method? Yes. So that is the reason we call it a scripting, shell scripting. So yes, in, uh, in a shell scripting is nothing but is Linux collections of Linux command where you can declare the variables, control statement, uh, iterative loops and uh, functions. Okay, so that is a shell scripting. So it's very simple. Now, if you look at this, this is one example of shell scripting. Now, if you look at this, what do you have? So the first line, which you call it, uh, see, again, I forgot this name. Uh, anyone remember this name, the first line, what do you call it? Um, I think I, comment line. No, 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 it's not a comment. I mean, it's a comment, but uh, it, we call it something else. I forgot this. Uh, so basically, I'll tell you the huge cases of this. So whenever you run this script, whatever you will store and run it, it will run with bin as such. That is my core shell, born shell. So if you want to run with the bash, then you have to type bin bash. If you want to run this code with the Python, then bin Python, like that. So we call it this one, uh, you can call it uh, helping the operating system to locate their interpreter. There's a very spe special keyword which we have in English. I mean, I'm not able to recall that. So that way, here you are trying to say, okay, that script will run with the bin bash. But what you have in the script, look at this, nothing else. You have a commands, ls command, previously we covered, cat command echo command some utilities some tools babel is there set is there cat is there echo is there these are the commands but here we do have a control statement also if you see do done do in green and done so that's a control statement so this is some of the sim simple uh, you know things so the commands uh, which uh, we are supposed to know you know, because you know how to write a shell scripting, you have to run the commands. So many of the commands we have covered, which was uh, needful. But again, admin commands I'll cover in the next session. And so we have a commands for files and directory management. You know that we have a commands for, you know, uh, file viewing and editing. You have a command for file compression, backing up and restoreage. We discuss about the gun zip, G zip, tarball zip, unzip, and all cat and all kind of things. Uh, we have command for finding the files and directories like grab, diff, find, sleep, all this thing. Uh, right, these are the commands we, we discuss, like grep we discuss. Set and awk is a very advanced one. Uh, we can ignore it for time being and so on. So yes, what is shell scripting? So shell scripting is nothing but a collection of command with a, uh, with a control statement, loop and function. Now, here always the shell scripting you should I'm not, I'm not saying you must you should start with that hash exclamation bin bash that way you can you are telling okay my script should be executable that is called as you are saying something what is that? that first line is called as bash bang uh, yeah 
could be i mean let me find out the name because what is first line in and this start with a or something it's interpreted but we call it something I'll, I'll tell you the name i mean a long back i uh, read it and i forget because not in use actually okay so this is the one now guys after writing a code you have to give permission and if you look at the line number uh, i mean middle section of the screen which is ch mode ux that means you are giving a executable permission you can also do 755 simple way or plus x also you can do so that means you are saying hey i am giving you permission i am giving the script a permission to execute it and uh, here you are putting up a dot okay so there is a relationship okay i must tell you here you will ask me why you have to put why you have to put that line so see here when you put when you run this script with a dot and this one then you must need this one okay but if you are if you are executing the script like a bin bash and then script name space path and bin bash then you don't need this okay so that way it's looking for the interpreter to run that script the moment you said dot this one and typically we run the script using dot all the time so you should keep it so this is one of the script you see the sample script here you are uh, this is a con shell setting a directory echoing it permission and then running it so now question is what is shell script how to write a shell script it should be always with dot sh how do we execute the scripts shell script are you comfortable with it all of you all of you yes okay now next thing how do we comment in the script so i think very simple answer hash shine which you can use to comment in the script okay so that is something which you have okay so let me show you some demo before moving further so what i want to do uh, i want to write one script so what is this so vi first dot sh and here i'm writing echo welcome to bash scripting okay and done save it come out of it now you have to give a permission ch mode 755 first dot s and dot first dot that's all so this is how we store the code give the permission run the code that's all so this is something you want to give some comments in the script so echo sign you can give it here this is a hey on something like this and you see it's not coming so this is the way you can comment and stuff like that now you have to understand this is a very important one okay so here there is a one one thing which called double quote second thing we call it a single quote and third one we call it a back quote what is the difference double quote single quote and back quote so please understand that first i will talk about the back quote look at the example okay here there's one command which is called echo after that followed by string with a quote a double quote and after that there's one more command called date command so date command will 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 give you the the output of the date and time so please remember that when you want to run certain command with certain other commands then typically we use the back back code you see the back code date is a command but you are running with a code so you have to use the back back code so back code is a string enclosed as such is treated as a command and is a shell attempt to execute it if the execution is successful the primary output of the command replaces the string that means whatever the output you have you get the whatever the output of date will become a string and it will be print along with the echo so are you clear with the back code yes 
okay double quote and single quote more or less the same but you know what what is the difference so double quote typically we use it when you want to interpolate the variable but you can use a double quote and single quote if you want to print something both are okay there's no problem but if you want to interpolate some variable then you use the uh, double quote for example uh, how do we declare the variable so here let me show you this example here vi first dot sh i want to declare the variable so how do we declare the variable simple name rajesh and what is my age i'm just 16 actually this this year so 16 so i have got the two variable but how do we use it so that is where we have echo double quote and here you are going to embed here dollar h my my name h dollar and uh, name and uh, and h h dollar h simple so if you are using see here i am interpolating two variables name and age so i need a double quote in this case and here i am saving this code and then running and see simple so these are the small small thing but you have to understand this so you are good with it so now this slide is talk about read read command so read what is a read command so guys uh, if you have done any programming you have certain uh, in a certain command certain ways to get the input from the user right you want to prompt something and then user will fill that prompt and then uh, cert certain variables will be set and accordingly will be used in the program and that is what we are doing through the read command so if you see that line number read read command with the, mo the, the moment you use the read command it will prompt it will prompt for what values but for which variable the followed by the file a is a variable file b is a variable file c is a variable that means if you get a prompt and if you type one string that will be set to file a and a space second string will be set to file b and third step third string which will be set to the file c simple and then after that followed by you can print file a file b file c but right now let me show you only one uh, only one uh, read that's more than required so here read and here save it and then if i run it see now it's very confused like it's very confusing like this you think the script it got uh, hang but it's not just you put it up and done but you have to beautify this one so how do we beautify so what you can do is echo please enter the city name and colon and now if you see now you'll understand the i mean some sense or out of it and then you say here delhi okay and then done but you are not using this I mean, this variable so you have to use it right so how do we use it and that you know that very well so echoing i am doing that uh, my cp name is dollar uh, dollar what uh, okay so i did not de declare the variable dollar city okay so now city and done save it and run this see so guys did you understand the red commands and how do we use in the script to become interactive the code should be interactive all of you yes okay so i think this is one of the examples so uh, again i will share with you some of the command to do that okay so now next thing is how do we declare the variable so this one i have covered actually so there are inbuilt variables also there um, like shell path all this thing and uh, your own variables are also there so which you can set it up now next one is so variables I have discussed already so i'll just ignore it this one now next thing is operators guys any programming language which you learn you have operators with you all the times you have operators any programming language and in scripting language as well so in in linux and unix as well the scripting while doing the 
self scripting you have operators and i, I don't think so this required uh, more explanation you just need one demo for it so you want to do addition some arithmetic work addition subtraction multiplication division and all you have operators for it relational uh, relational operators are the equality you want to compare and then get it done you want to have boolean operators you want to test certain files like b for binary file or d for directories e for exist or not so these are the some of the checks you want to do and bitwise operators okay so these are the popular operators not only in linux and unix but every language every script you have and you need to learn how to use it so for example let's put it up in this way here uh, here you just say Ah, look at this here uh, very simple code math.sh and first statement which is for the interpreter the variable is count is equal to 5 and what you are doing here you are writing again uh, uh, re-declare the variable and here expr is a basically uh, command which will help you for arithmetic operators okay so if you are using arithmetic operator you have to use expr and if you look at the tilde you put it in the tilde i mean that single stick so that way it's become a command so count was five plus one six so a plus is an operator here and you get a six you change the permission of the file and then run this code simple so uh, likewise you have uh, some of the operators which you can use instead of plus you can use minus multiplication all this thing so you can use arithmetic operator now one more examples of this one operators here you can use this one and these are the some of the operators which were discussed in the last uh, images so that's okay uh, now let me show you one thing which i want to show you that uh, this part which you will find it uh, important and that is this one equality and hyphen b hyphen c all this thing so what do you have to do let me show you this first thing you have to understand uh, conditioning statements in the linux so any any see any any programming language or scripting language you learn first thing you have to ask a few questions let me ask a few questions how to store it okay how to run how to set variables okay how to make script interactive okay how to use operators and then next question you should ask how to run statement conditionally remember when here we have condition what if if else on a kind of things and how to how to run statement what is the next how to run statement or code in loop that means you want to run 10 20 30 40 times and all kind of things right and the next one how to reuse the code reuse the code that means you write once and use it 100 times so use the code and that is function so these are the fundamental of any scripting or any programming language so now the question is do you know how to show the shell scripting we covered do you know how to run it done do you know how to set the variable done do you know how to make the interact script interactive read done do you know how to use operators one of the use cases which i have showed you arithmetic operator using expr but i'll show you the few more operators with effects okay so for that let me show you one command so just write here uh, shell scripting cri scripting conditional okay and then uh, type at the end of it the box code okay so it will help you to locate my tutorials now this is a complete explanation about what are the conditional statement we have available in shell scripting so you have you can use only if or you can use if else or you can use if elif else phi or you can use if then else if then phi phi nested one and you can use switch also so many options are there only one we need 
to run and that is i'm going to run this one okay so very simple one and here you see you have to remember this if phi opening closing after if you have to do that then and only you can write this one but if you are adding else then you have to use the phi else phi will come here here only okay so this is how you write the statement now where is the operators so here if you look at this this is the operators okay so this is the equality operator or relational operator you can say so here look at this these are the operators which is used in the conditioning statement so one of the operators which is this operator if you are using it will check the this one and this one is equal or not equal or less than or less than equal or greater than or greater than equal so these are the very simple one now this is also i want you to remember what is a dollar zero and dollar one anyone have idea what is a dollar zero and dollar one dollar zero is the first uh, variable <laughs> yeah so this is called positional parameter let me show you this one okay uh, so positional parameter so let's say my script is here and here i'm passing some positional parameter one and two okay and this is the city name so where is this so basically this is dollar one this is a dollar zero and this is a dollar two you want to use it let me show you the code here let me remove this first interactive one because it's irritating me so where's the read city that okay and then here uh what is this echo dollar one uh, one page dollar one and dollar two something like that i'm printing and you see that here here i'm passing the two one two three four but here you you see these two got printed this one and this one so dollar zero is this one dollar one dollar two dollar three dollar four so this is something which is a positional parameters will you remember this all of you yes okay so now how do we check it so if you look at my code here uh, we are using equal to that means it will check true then it will run this one else this one simple so now let me first uh, declare the n n raj m the different one right so let's what is this bi I'm deleting all this thing, paste it, save it, run this. Not required the positional parameter. See here. So both variables are different, but there is a some expected integer expression. So maybe some syntax got missed out, but it still it worked. So what could be the reason for it? Then else, what is the line number? Line number Raj. Where is the Raj? Okay, so this can be in code, so it's still is considered as an integer. So something like this. This is a variable problem. So integer registration expected. Yes. Equal to it should be with the numbers. Three. Both variables are same. So now this is the way uh, you can use a conditional statement. So if you see that this page, I have given so many examples. Uh, this is the pattern. Few examples here. If you see program number three, program number four. Try it out. 15, 20 minutes, not more than that, because just you need to remember what capability we have it. And once we you come across, you have to code for it. So this is the conditional. Now here, next one we are going to use for looping, okay? Because remember that any script you have some fundamental use cases. So next one is looping. How do we do that loop? So in 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 Linux bash scripting, we have got three loops available. One is four, 
second one is a while and third one is until so you can click on this one uh, looping double score and i think this tutorial will come i just need one code for each of these just to copy and paste it that's all this one okay so see here this is the statement which you know now if you see that here for there's one variable i it can be anything here and in it is a fixed and here it can be list now you know what this there are many ways to specify so it can be uh, dot dot five also by the way so many ways to specify okay so here this is the list that means this code will run five times which code this code instead of this one it can be many other stuff also but every time when you use the for do done start end and the statement inside this it can be having sometime you know you can have this one also okay so that means you are having sorry you are having under the loop you are having if conditions also okay so that is also possible uh, depends on your need actually depends on the need okay so here it will run five times but it will check whether it's equal to or not and here you can you know do the stuff actually so let's keep it simple right now and there's the screen bi rajesh dot first dot sorry first dot sh delete everything and here this code should run five times but it will every time it will print hello one followed by two three four five save it and run this okay now if you see that here you have some examples for adding the if conditions also you can try these examples here okay so are you comfortable with the looping all of you yes so first thing we have to okay, use so double equal to for uh, comparing the string equality equality of strings ha equality operator you can use this. so these operators uh, for comparison in the if conditions you can use equality operator non equality greater than lesser than no, no, i'm asking for string you have uh, this comparison of strings no like double eq doesn't work didn't work like previously when you are showing it okay no at, actually it worked but uh, the error was error was that conversion was not happening so by default when you uh, declare then it uh, and if you are doing the equality operator here you can use for you can use for uh, any string also but uh, it has to be defined in this loop let me just show you just uh, when you say here it is taking as a string so when you put uh, let's say like this mm -hmm. then it will become a string comparison so that way yes yes okay got it got it okay. so here you can use a with the if condition you can use relational operator and also here file test operator file test operator i would like to show you uh, did we have that data just a second uh, it's missing in this but let me get it shell scripting I'll test options and here, but I want some images quickly. So this one. Okay, so here if you see, see you. So if you want to test that if it is a directory hyphen D, if it is a regular file hyphen F, okay, likewise we have so many options here. And you see here the string, the one which we are discussing, string one, string two, string not equal to string two. So you have to put it in the string actually here. Okay, so now uh, while one, so while is pending. So let's uh, use this while also. So while examples, let me get it from the internet. Shell while loop example quickly 
this domain. So now, if you see that, how do we use it? So, if you look at this here, for also do done and while also do done. Okay. So here it's checking while this is true. Okay. Remember that. What is the difference between for and while? The difference between the for and while. For it will run the number of the number of times depends on the list. Where while will run depends on the true or false. Please understand the difference. So as long as this is true, it will keep running. If it will become a false, it will not run. Simple. So that is the difference. So here, if you're saying, hey, hyphen C is less than five, is it true? And actually C is less than five. Yes, it's true. One is less than five. So it will keep running. It will keep running and displaying. But here, what you are doing, playing a trick. Here, every time you run and here you are adding uh, one numbers. I mean, you are incrementing the C numbers by plus plus is operator to add one number. So first time it will become a one, then two, three, four, and then it will not run after five, fifth. So this is the one of the way to, to run the statement conditionally. Okay, the last option which we have is like, see what happens. The problem is very simple and solution we have it. The last option which we have is how do we reuse the code? So in the real time, what happens? You write a code, but you have to run 20 times, 30 times, 50 times, and a different, different parameter. For example, one simple example is one average code you want to write, where the parameters may change first time, maybe two and three you want to have, uh, let's say add, it will be a more simpler discussion. Add, and here you have a two and three, and you want to add it, but next time people want to have a three and four, like this. So what do we do? So here the parameters we is changing, but the function is remain same. The behavior is remain same. So are we going to write that many codes? Of course not. So what are we going to do? And that is where we are going to use function. I, let me tell you, function is not a concept only in 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 uh, shell scripting. Is there in every language you go for it? Let me tell you. We'll teach you shell bash scripting will teach you uh, uh, what to say python will teach you ansible will teach you hashicorp uh, terraform will teach you vault will teach you packer and many other scripting and coding language maven will teach you gradle will teach you so everywhere you will see the function function is a global things it's not stick to one language one programming language so understand that way so how do we write a function and how do we reuse it so simple, uh, I'm going to uh, just, uh, it will be faster, shell script, shell, shell script function to add two numbers, simple. And here, all this is, you will get it. And this is not a function, so it's wrong search write a function yeah maybe this one where is it Okay, I think my site is best. Uh, shell script function DevOps. Okay, and this is the one. Okay, I'll just copy the simple code just for understanding the function can be written here. Understand this. What we are doing? There is one function we are writing. How do we write a function? So name it whatever you want it. And this is the parenthesis you have to give it. So that way it's a function. Now start, end, curly braces. Inside that whatever you do, you should return something. And this is the most important one. 
okay so inside that what you are passing and what you are doing it depends on that so here it's a one variable one more variable this is one more variable this is one more variable this is a loop this is one more variable plus operator here 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 this is a comparison operators arithmetic operators and return the variable simple so what do you do it depends on your logic what you want and these all are nothing but the commands actually if you see that many of these are commands so like this is the command this is the variables you know so like this so now what we are doing here here this is one of the function you're writing to find out the average so here you are passing function name parameter so one two three four parameters so now here if you see this one is uh, gathering the number of length so length is equal to hash dollar hash means the number of parameters got passed and here you are saying hey run as many times till you have a number of parameters that means run four times simple and this is the way to find out the average the mathematical formula and here you are finding it and this is just the returning value your script run correctly or not so not required and or you can leave it as it is and then run. so now bi func dot sh and here you want to use it one more time you can specify let's say you want to use one more time so like this here you want to find average for this so one time two times i'm using the same function you don't have to repeat the code and then run this ch mode 755 func.sh func and here echo has not happened so return code and so guys did you understand that these fundamentals of writing a scripts all of you yeah raj clear okay now the good news is guys nowadays um, see if you conceptually understand it all the script is readily available so now the question is what is the real time work you get it in that devops and sre or devsecops what is the real time work you get it so you will be asked I'll, I'll give you a simple example you will be asked write a shell scripting write a shell scripting to find a file which is more than 100 mb mb and delete those files only directory must be user input and so on so this is your script now earlier you know in my time we used to write it all this thing line by line and all stuff like that but now you have a you are in you guys are i mean very good time actually go to this chat gpt and put it up this one and here you will have working script and the only thing which you need to do is to understand and run it because if you do not understand the code then i think it's not good so you know that what exactly this is interpreter that means this code will run with a bash here you know what is echo you know what is red you know what is if you know what is a find you know what is echo what you know that else echo and then and here if you see that find i told you very powerful command and i ask you to spend one or two hours here here what what you're doing find in this directory which you are taking the input from here and then only the find the size file type and size should be less uh, greater than 500 i mean 100 mb and execute what delete all these things simple was it difficult nowadays life is very easy the only thing is like if you have come across customization you should know the meaning of it and that you will get it only if you practice the commands command is important are you understanding? 
yes raj so i'll give i'll do one thing i'll give you 20 assignments where you have to write a shell scripting for me but 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 when, when it comes to assignment anything you will get it nowadays on chat gpt and, and bard so you should not try that one you should struggle yourself with google searches okay don't try chat gpt because you will become a disabled soon actually in that way so struggle for a few days writing those assignment with the help of google that way you will learn each and every smallest to smallest thing some of the lines if you're not understanding you can seek a help from chat gpt saying that hey explain this one but you should struggle it because the moment you struggle it few days it will become a part of your you know things because sometimes what happens i tell you uh, in your organizations you may be working in a kind of environment where you are you are not having the chat gpt and google allowed but you have to write your own with a certain work around here and there so that way it will help you got it all of you any questions so divya yeah question uh, no no I, I mean, i've been i mean i work on linux machines so i was quite familiar mm -hmm. with it yeah uh is this one vivek uh, yes, yes. Uh, no, uh, I can't understand it. Uh, I just need to practice it. It's a long time. Yeah, I mean, you have to practice. Linux says only one thing, practice. Because I'll tell you one, one thing. I've been using Linux from last 19 plus years. And still I need to refer the Google and documentation. Why? Because you, there's so many things in Linux. So many things. You can't remember everything. I mean... Uh, Syntax, small, small syntax, so many things are there actually. Yeah. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Okay, so now next session is what we have is uh, advanced uh, administrator command, and that's the most important for DevOps and SRE. But we'll push this for tomorrow, and here again we'll have one and a half hours and something. So let's have a tomorrow this topics and along with one more uh, topic, one tool, we'll take it up from our agenda. And then we will continue. Will that be okay for everyone? Yeah. And Raj, you know, the assignments that you are going to give, it will be uh, in the same uh, location that you have set, right? Everything I will share in the WhatsApp group, but assignment submissions will be, or error submissions will be on debug school. So that will be because, you know, everything, If you, let's say if you put it uh, errors in the WhatsApp group, and if you start, everyone start feeding that, it will become a, complicated so keep the errors at the debug school we'll comment it over there and then url you can share in the whatsapp group have any issues with our channel membership you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest thanks for watching